way of entry, typically only microbiologists at best are going to come to your site. And so as we thought about how could we provide a disease view in the system, this, is an, uh, this is, was our simple-minded reasoning. We always try simple-minded first. Pathogens, of course, are involved in causing diseases. And this involves a number of things in the pathogen, uh, which have names. But it, these diseases are also related to the host. And in our case, the interesting host, the most interesting host is human and animal models, so other mammals. But there are relationships between these human diseases and, for example, mouse models, and even fly models or, or worm models. And then there are the protein-protein interactions, which in many cases are the molecular mechanisms that are mediating uh, the outcome of this interaction as either disease or non-disease or something in between. Well, when we started thinking about this further, we said, well, but what characterizes these things? Well, things like symptoms, diagnostics, vaccines, treatments. So, and what characterizes these things? Well, there are strains known to be pathogenic on certain hosts, but not on others, and things like that. And then where is the data related to this? Well, there's lots of this kind of data, molecular, large-scale data sets that we would be interested in. And then where is the data related to things like mouse? Well, there's data out there. There's also data out there that helps us think about these terminologies. And there's data in our systems and at places like the CDC and others about things like that that we care about. There's data about these things in places like that. There's data about these things in places like that. These aren't meant to be exhaustive lists. And there's data uh, about mouse in the 